Hey guys, back again, day six here, and I am still fishing, trying to get some supplies. <laughs> Using up this poor fishing pole so fast. I've discovered I'm not very good at fishing, and on top of that, it keeps kind of glitching out, so it's a little hard to tell when I'm doing it right. So yeah, I'm making progress though. I'm getting there. <laughs> I'll have to get more string though because this fishing pole's almost gone and I really haven't gotten that many fish. But you never know. So far I have four fish and I probably have 25% of this fishing pole left. But it's just stuff isn't hooking it seems. It just takes forever. Come on, fish. It makes like this lovely sound when you catch a fish. I've been listening for that sound. But not hearing it much. See, it makes that sound, but I didn't get anything that time. There you go. Keeps getting stuck. There. Come on. Give me a fish. Ah. Come on. This is going to be my last go, I think. And then I'm going to give up. Oh, yeah, I got one. And dropped it. Alright, so let's take these back cook them real quick so I can stop starving mm. I still hear a skeleton somewhere and I'm guessing there's a cave nearby me it has to be right so let's make some more armor real quick Okie dokie. So, put this stuff away. I think I just have far too much cobble out right now. A whole bunch of things I don't need. Alright. So, let us go. As soon as we get these cooked and eaten, I'm going to go check out that spawner that we found the other day. Since I'm in a hurry, I'm going to use some bone meal too. Alright. So let's get the good pieces. At least some are ready, right? That's always nice. Okie dokie. Put that back. There, I think we're good for a little while. We'll have a piece of bread and some fish, so we should be fine. And now we have some boots, and we have some chest piece and iron sword so feeling good about this alright so where is that there it is it's over here so let's go over here and see if we can't tame that area and make use of the awesome looking zombie spawners in there that'd be nice to have actually I mean Contained, make a trap, zombies give you flesh you can eat, so that's useful, right? Alright, let's do this. Gotta be quick. Oh, poo. Poo, poo, poo. No, 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 no. Shoot! I'm on fire, almost dead. 
Ouch, ouch. Oh god, I'm just so sure I was going to die. Whew. That was close. I took an arrow to the eyeball. Oh man, I was so sure I was going to die there. Oh wow. Okay. No, don't spawn in these zombies. I'm gonna like double wrap these suckers. I'm so paranoid. All kinds of no right now. <laughs> nope. Nope, nope, nope. I'm near a cave. I have to be. Alright, let's see what we found. Ooh, some buckets. Some more string. That's useful. Wheat. Cocoa beans. Welcome. Always welcome. Eh. Well, those were a little anticlimactic, but hey, it's something. Every little bit helps, and let's face it, now I basically just got a double spawner here. Alright, what's this one? Ooh, more wow. weird. Some iron. Useful stuff. Okay. Ugh, I hate being in here. It's so... Scary sounding would be an appropriate term for it. So I'm going to go actually get supplies to make. Oh, yay, it's getting dark. Maybe I won't go. <laughs> Should I make a mad dash? Alright, let's go. Let's go for it. Run! Hope I don't get stalked by creepers or something. Oh, this is so sketchy, but I don't care. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn both of those spawners into mob grinders. Automatic ones that I don't have to deal with because that's the best kind in this situation. I don't want to have to actually kill them. I just want them to die for me. <laughs> I'm lazy. Alright. So let's put some of this stuff away. Gosh, I got so much good stuff. I seriously lucked out this time. Alright. I'm up. See, and the best part about this is like with the skeletons, they're going to drop me arrows and bows and stuff. And zombies will do more food sources than anything else. So really, it's like very lucky to find that. Especially when I can't kill chickens and I want arrows. Yay me, right? Finally having some good fortune. Okay. So, just gonna make more room for another chest here. Might as well. Okay. Put some more stuff in here. Alrighty, so make this some more bread. I'm not going to bother making another baby cow just yet. I hate saying that. I really would like to know why my cow despawned. Like, I didn't think they did, but I just, I logged on, I came back here. Larry was gone. <laughs> it's not fair. Okay. Grab some more wheat. Once I get a proper cow farm with a nice little shed and stuff for them to live in above ground, then I will breed them again. And we will have our family of three again because I don't want to risk them disappearing again. I don't know if it was because of where we are or what. Alright, so what I'm going to need to do those spawners pretty simple. I'll need some buckets, which I now have for free, which is awesome. Saves me so much time, actually. And let's make some more armor. Let's make our helmet. Okay, so we'll just... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Alright. We'll put the helmet on, and I think we're 
we're good to go. Ugh. It's allergy season and yeah. Minor. Not really. Okay. So huh. now should I go back? Or hmm. I'm debating whether I wanna risk like going back out there at night. Look at me, I'm so smart. I left the door open again. Alright. So let me go check and see what I'll need, actually. Uh, I'm gonna need some cobble. So I'm gonna get a couple stacks of cobble, actually. Because there's two of them, and I could probably try and join them together, but... It might be just as easy to, like, make them separate. Let's try doing that first, actually. So we have a couple stacks of cobble. My buckets, which I'll need to fill with water. I need to put up the extras of things I don't need, just because I don't want to have my inventory be full. Uh, probably going to want to build a couple doors. Doors are always a good idea for this. Build two doors for access. There we go. Alright. We're good. So basically what I'm going to do is an old trick I used to like to do where I'm going to basically get the mobs to walk down to a hole with the assistance of water and it's basically gonna flood them and they'll drown slowly and they'll die and after they've expired and dropped whatever they have it'll flow down a little shaft and we can retrieve said items for free it's not as useful as like say using a mob grinder technique but it works well when you're trying to do a quick retrieval of items and you don't care about getting the exp. What the heck? There's a nasty creeper over there. Just like sitting there. Hi there. Yeah. Oh man, really? Was that necessary? I seriously think I moved back fast enough. And of course, there's already a freaking zombie on its way over here. Like, I heard the explosion. Is there vulnerable people I can eat now? Uh, a cow, our sheep, move. Go on. Oh, there. Ah, dude, move. The uh, sheep are so dumb. Why would you walk in here? I don't even know. So, yeah. Uh, let's waste some time by maybe doing some more mining. I don't know. Gotta find something to do while we're waiting. We'll take out this coal. That's something to do, right? It'll be nice once we have those two spawners. Oh, look! Some iron. Once we have the two spawners fixed up to collect items like that automatically... Uh, I can just stand down there and pick them up, or I could actually put them in chests with hoppers so that the items flow into them, and then we don't even have to go get them. We just have to be relatively close enough for them to spawn monsters. So, here, let's put this iron in and see if we can get some more armor. That would be nice to have a full suit of armor at this point. Really all we need is pants, so that's doable. Definitely doable. Alright. Go see how the time of day is going. Oh, it's getting morning time. We'll be able to go out soon. I'm definitely going to try and do the spawners in one go. Go over there and get them set up. 
It may not, I mean, it might take like a whole day to do it though. But I'm hoping it'll go relatively quickly and not be too much of a pain to get them set up. All right. Get this last piece. And then I will be good to go. There we go. There we go. Yay, I feel safer already. Yeah. <laughs> Only slightly endangered. So. Is it safe to go out yet? Things. Oh, yes, things are burning. We're good, we can leave. Let's go pick up any lovely leftovers, too. That stuff might have left. Some zombie flesh. That's always nice to have. Okay, let's fill up our buckets real quick. We're gonna need lots of water. Alright. So I have everything on me. Um, have some food. And let's go. Oh, what was that? Oh, hey. Look there. A random skeleton. Did he drop a bow? No, of course not. Jerk. Okay. <laughs> I did hope, right? I wonder how many other players have found these already. Because I know some people said they were building their house over there by where my trees are and stuff. So now I'm curious if everybody else has already like found them and made good use of them. I'm just like the one slow person here. Oops. Hold on. I'm not trying to be super slow and playing this hardcore. I just... I end up getting sidetracked by life and I have my other hardcore going and I just it's hard to find time to put out something on like a daily basis so I tried to do something at least like every other day so let's get to work in here yeah so this will probably be done by the end of this next day and we should have ourselves some fun mob grinding thingies. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching today. And it was ex exciting some of the stuff and not so exciting some of the other stuff. But uh, hopefully next episode will be much more cool. So thanks for watching and like and subscribe if you if so feel the need to by a chance. I would love it if you did. It makes me happy. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.